Hey, fourth graders, it's finally time for Blue Belt. So in Blue Belt, we've already done A, or sorry, C and A. And then when we did, uh, that was that was White Belt. Uh, yellow Belt was C, A, and D, right? Okay. And then uh, we had Orange Belt, which was B, A, and G. Okay. And then the last one, Green Belt, was D, B, A, and G, no C. And when we go to blue belt, you're gonna have all of these, the D, C, B, A, G that we've already done, and then we're also adding E. Now we've done E in class when we first started. We started with G and E. It's tricky though, because you have to use your hottest, steamiest breath. If you don't, it's gonna squeak, right? Okay, so make sure all your fingers are covering the holes completely. Be careful if, you're, if your fingers are like arching, then back here, you can't see it very good, these are peaking. And that's gonna definitely make squeaks and squawks that you're not gonna like, your family's not gonna like, so be cool about it. Put those fingers as flat as you can. It's easy for me, I have big fat fingers. If you have tiny fingers, Natalie's running into this too, is that her fingers are really skinny and really small still, which is totally normal, but it makes it hard for her to cover those holes completely. So you just gotta work on stretching those fingers out. If you, before you practice, you just kinda do this for maybe like 10 minutes, and then make sure you relax your fingers for a little bit and then get back to it. So your fingers are really getting that muscle memory of where they're gonna go on the recorder. That might help a lot, okay? So in Blue Belt, you have three choices again, like always. And the first one is the Chinese song on the Yangtze. That's a river in China, okay? And it's pretty easy. It goes pretty slow. It has half notes and quarter notes only, which is kind of nice. It has E, G, A, G, E, and then it goes up to B in the third line. But that's it, okay? So that's totally a choice, and I'll play all these in a second. Phoebe in her petticoat has um, all the notes except C in it. Okay, so that's a choice if you want a little bit of a challenge. If you want a big challenge, which the rhythms in this one make it not quite so challenging. I think all of these are just like half notes, quarter notes, and uh, whole notes. So you got the long notes that are slower, which are nicer when you're going to something new. This one has A, C, B, A, G, and E in it. It has all of them, except D, I guess. So those are all three choices. So just remember when you are playing the low notes where you have more fingers down, it's super important to use that hot steamy breath or it will squeak all over the place. And it's not gonna sound very nice and you're not gonna enjoy it either. So just take it easy, okay? I'm gonna start with Chinese song. This is Ang the Yangtze. It's the first one, probably the easiest. It has the fewest amount of notes. So it sounds like this. So it's not fast. And if you notice, line one, line two, and line four are exactly the same. The only one that's different is here. And this is just B, A, and G on the third line. So that one's pretty simple once you break it down. I would practice this line like until I got it right, like maybe five or six times. Once I got it right, then I would practice this line a couple times. And then I would put it all together. Okay, so that's, that's the first one. The second one is Phoebe in her petticoat. Petticoat is something that ladies don't wear anymore, but it went under your dress to make it look floofier. God, I'm glad we don't live back in those days. That would be horrible, right? So this one starts on B.
So this one, lines one and three are exactly the same, okay? Now, line two is different, but it also has that D at the end of the line. So watch out for that D. And then it ends on G, which is kind of easy. So it only has a couple of low E's, okay? So just watch out for that. The last one that's a possibility is Corn Song. I'll play it now. It is probably the funkiest of the three. It has like a weird tonality too, okay? It's a modal tonality is what we call it. So it sounds funky. So again, you don't have to do it, but you can, maybe you might want to challenge yourself if you're super bored. Here's a good one. So it's on A. So this one has a different pattern. The other ones like this first third line were the same, two and four were really close. This one, line one and line four are exactly the same, which is weird. We usually don't have that kind of a pattern. And then line two and three are very similar, except they end, these last two notes at the end of each line are different. That's the only change. So if that seems easier to you, then do it, okay? But those are the three for Bluebell. You, don't forget, if you have any questions, feel free to email me or send me some kind of message. Let me know. I'll be glad to help you if I can. And if you have questions, chances are there are like five or six other people who have the same questions. So don't feel afraid to just like email me those questions and I will uh, post an update or I'll post some notes to help you out. Okay? Stay healthy!